Hello, and welcome to What's the Deal with Gaming on Linux, a series where we take a closer look at how games run outside Windows. I'm Spooky Zalost, and today we're diving into Drill Core. We'll examine its performance, any quirks you might encounter, and whether or not it's worth your time. So without further ado, let's jump in and see what Drill Core has in store. So the game is called Drill Core. It is developed by Hungry Couch Games, a recently created indie team over at Tiny Build, and it is a minor colony builder roguelike. At least that's how it's been described. Currently for a price of $19.99, it was released into early access on the 12th of September 2024. It is currently a Windows only game technically, but I'm running it using Proton Experimental with the latest NVIDIA drivers. Tiny Build is notable for games such as No Time to Explain, Party Hard, Hello Neighbor, and Not for Broadcast. They work with various indie developers to produce these games and publish them. Kind of like how Broaderbone did back in the day. Well, let's have a look at the graphics settings, shall we? Gameplay, you got an alternative AI toggle. That could be interesting. Display mode is either a full screen or... Well, it's just full screen, it looks like. Language includes English, Russian, French, German, Spanish, European, Portuguese, Brazilian, which is just Chinese, simplified Korean, Japanese, Serbian, Ukrainian, and yeah. V-Sync on or off. Show FPS. Quality preset. You can go all the way from low to ultra. Frame rate, 30 or 60. Audio controls. Master volume music, so you can go turn off the music. Just the sound effects, ambient volume, and I guess the UI is the sound effects when you click buttons, like that. So, not really much, but I'm not expecting it to be. You can play, there's upgrade options. So, this I'm guessing is your tech tree, the roguelike elements. I'm currently playing the demo version, but if anyone wants, I'll pick up the full version to do a full playthrough. I'm not sure what Mailbox does yet. And credits. Alright, let's dive in, shall we? Okay, so you got Start Contract, Platform Preset, and Galactic Map. You can currently play as a novice borer, uh, but you'll be unlocking other stuff, of course. Objective, Madden, Field Correction. So apparently you're diving down to planets to correct them and make them stable again. Which is interesting, because that means you're going down to the geomagnetic core, which means you're digging through all that crust. Fascinating. Let's look at playability, shall we? There we go. Platform stable, equipment is intact. We have successfully landed. Okay, so it's looking like graphics are 2D graphics, possibly pixel art style, but nicer pixel art, like 32 bit. So, Neo Geo. Hold down enter to start drilling. Drilling okay. confirmed. So they drop you down a hole in this big machine, it unfolds and starts digging. Start with four miners. Okay. Mine four coal to start drilling. Press the right mouse button to cancel an order. Left mouse button to construction. W and S to camera up and down. Okay. Her construction, which means there's probably monsters down here. Tactical pause, okay. Current available resources, we have eight iron. Obtain permanent resources, lunarite, galaxium, warp stone. To the case of a successful evaluation, this is just iron, swarmlet, and coal, not sure what swarmlet is. Current target depth at which to detonate the core. Detonate the core? Oh my. Core durability. 
Build the construction button to open the building construction menu. So you gotta get this core thing, I'm guessing, down to the bottom. Worker info, you have four workers. Only three of which are listed up here. Current time, day one. Mouse wheel to zoom. Get up time. Double to double speed, press Q. So Q for double speed, okay. To increase priority of the block minding order, hover over it and press left mouse button. Okay, that's actually pretty useful. Huh. Technology is found. Open up access to the construction of new buildings or turrets until the end of this contract. Mortar, rocket launcher, drone station. Hmm. Chain gun or mortar? I think I'll put a mortar on each side. That just seems like the thing to do. So there's types of rocks you can't dig through. You know what this kind of seems like? That other game where you're like drilling through and then going through waves? What's it called? Uh, Wall World? Wall World. That's what this kind of seems like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the same kind of game as Wall World. Lasers, energy catalyzers, stunner. Nothing happened then, huh? I don't know what that is. Let's go figure that out. I'd like to know what that is. I mean, coal. Rocks and minerals beware. Let's see what this does. This is kind of like Wall World. What's that? Good morning, team. It's time to get back to work. Hmm. Let's get digging. Yeah, let's break those up. I get the feeling that's gonna do the dig dug thing where it falls down. Just 
tougher stuff. Pretty sure that's the coal I'm looking for. Plenty of iron. Two people to this. Oh, hello. I didn't realize this was a thing. Please gather those resources. Get up there and get blasted, huh? Uh, you? Great, so my guy is dead. Most of turrets was a good idea, though. Hmm. This is very much like Wall World, where you gather resources and then you survive a wave. Unfortunately, without that other guy. Morning, everyone. Let's get to it. Yeah, but you can't gather resources. So without him, I have to abort. Huh. Yeah. I got the feeling that's something caused by a proton. Hmm. Okay. So, what are my thoughts on this? Well, the story's interesting. You're basically doing some planet terraforming stuff, and you have to fight off uh, monsters that want to get in your way as you're digging down. To gather resources and dig deep to survive. Playability, I haven't seen any graphical glitches other than the test screen that shows up when I try to 
load things, but I haven't tried it with uh, golden egg roll versions of Proton yet. It may disappear with that. Sound? Sounds alright. Music good. You can control the sound, which is nice. And I'd say it's a good game. Uh, would I say it's worth $20? $19.99? Uh, depends. If you liked Wall World, you might like this one. I would say for an indie game, I'd give it like a 4.7. Uh, just because, you know, this is a demo, it's in early access, it's going to get more polished, but it's not complete yet. So, until next time, this has been Spooky Zillost, signing off.